Hello YouTube, this is Jordan White. Um, I promise you, I am going to make a Dunwoody's Media Basket episode, how to create a web page. Matter of fact, I'm, I believe I have the equipment already set up to film it. But, let me just tell you that this video is going to be a, a revision of a previous video that I made on my previous channel before I uh, deleted it because of a copyright strike. Now, this video is called, is a lesson on how to install a, how to install on Windows 8 EasyCap drivers. Now, um, now EasyCap is, is basically known for for being this uh, very cheap, uh, affordable uh, analog to digital capture device where you can convert your VHS tapes to DVD or even uh, convert your convert some video gameplay over to uh, digital. Of course, uh, there's HD games, but you can use that as well. But uh, this device is is by far none cheap and uh, easy to use and I'm gonna sh show you how to install it on Windows 8 the latest operating system from Microsoft of course they are releasing Windows 8.1 but that doesn't really matter now so without further ado let's get started on this lesson sorry I mean sorry this so that I have uh, the recording software open up. I mean, that's the recording software I use. Action from Mirrorsoft. M Mirror Marillus. That's what it, what it's called. Marillus. Marillus. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do is go over to the site Subrent USA www.sabrent.com slash downloads.php and, and once you get to the top of the page scroll down scroll down over to USB 2.0 video and audio DVD maker download the download the 7 Vista on Windows 7 version. Of course, uh, being the guy that I am, I already have it installed. And I've already have it unpackaged. If you don't know how to unpackage it, just right click and click extract files. Uh, well, it's a, if it's a zip file, you can use WinRAR or 7-zip or any file extracting software you like to use. Okay, so open this, open that. Now, simple as that, there's a setup. Now, what you're gonna do, it, this is a good decision. Try to make sure you run this as administrator. From Semtech Sem Semiconductor Company Ltd. Let's see how well that works. Okay, so SAP is running. Well, huh. now, now a lot of, on my previous video, a lot of people have stated that uh, this error comes up. Please connect the video device to the computer and wait for the installation. Now, now what's going to happen is well. Let me just tell you, I already have the EasyCap thing plugged in straight to my computer. And uh, and it, if it detects it, I mean, this is probably... If it detects, like, a previous installation of the fact that, um, you already have this thing installed on your computer, you may want to go to Driver Manager, like here, like I'm doing here, Device Manager, and make sure and try to hmm
and uninstall the the driver that that you may already have. However, I don't have the driver installed right now, but this error shows up anyway. So, what you what you're gonna have to do is hang on. I'm going to be listening. Listen to me unplug the easy cap thing. Please connect the. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to plug it back in. Actually, I don't think you should run it as administrator. Except I ran it as administrator. All you have to do is just uh, plug it, unplug it, and then plug it back in. If you if that error comes up, please connect the video device to the thing. Even if you already have it connected, just close the installation window, unplug, and then replug, and then run the setup again, and you won't get that error. Now, um, what's about to show up? Well. Of course, it already is installed. Now, um, I already did install it. I just uninstalled it for the purpose of this video. Now, wh what's gonna happen is, let's test this in, in Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub is a free software, open source, that uh, is excellent in doing anything related to video, but it can't do fancy schmancy special effects for blockbusters or anything like that. Okay, so what you're gonna do let's see how let's test this. You're gonna go to file, then capture AVI. Of course uh don't don't capture that. Go to USB two point zero grabber and um I'm gonna turn on the what's uh what this thing's connected to a uh, old uh, RCA VCR. Now watch this. See what I tell ya? It it detects it. It turns on. You don't have to install a torrent or anything like that. Just go to that Subrent USA site, download it. If that error pops up. Up, unplug easy the easy cap thing, then we plug it in, then start it up again. And it's, it's probably going to give you a window that says, "Do you want to trust this software? Do you want to trust this software?" Like Cinetech thing, and then click trust or install or say yes something something like that when that window pops up, and then what you're going to do is. Plug it back in. I mean, and and so software is gonna install. Close the software installation window. Open up Virtual Dub like it did here, and um, click capture, click file, and then capture, and then click device USB 2.0 grabber. That's what the thing installed, and um. There you go. You have you have Easy Cap on Windows 8. I hope this tutorial works for you. If it uh, doesn't, please let me know and I can figure out a alternative way to install Easy Cap on Windows 8. All right. Well, see you. Bye.